McLean. Becky is one of our two canine officers. Uh, this is one of her new dogs. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about Becky. Becky had a, a, a dog. What kind of dog was that? It was a tracking dog, really. What was it? Um, I had a bloodhound. Bloodhound. Yes. Tracking dog. And she volunteered her own dog just to work with us so that we could use it on searches for cadavers and things like that. Um, as a result of her interest and the need for the city to have an additional canine officer, we had another canine officer, David Hall, who decided to get out of canine. We were able to fill that position with Becky. She took it with open arms. We were able to get her something a little more powerful than a bloodhound. And so let me introduce Becky and her dog. Thank you, Chief. I'm Becky McLean. This is Officer Segan. He's my partner. He rides with me. He's with me every day. He lives with me at my house with my family. He's a little itchy right now, I guess. He's got allergies just like everyone. Um, I guess I just want to give you a little short history about police dogs, a uh, very brief history, I, I guess. Um, in 1829, the first Metropolitan Police Department was created by Sir Robert Peel in London. Uh, just 30 years later, in 1859, is the first use we see of police dogs that's in police work. Um, they've been in police work, military work, ever since then, so they have a really long history. Uh, there are several breeds that are preferred for police work. Um, any of your shepherds, uh, Segan is a German shepherd. He's imported from the Czech Republic. Uh, 